William Hill sponsors Joshua vs. Takam on Sky Sports Box Office. This is Eiffel TV, MTK Global. I'm joined by Dylan White here in Cardiff. All right, mate? I'm good. What's going on, bro? You look like you should be a taxi driver. I don't know, man. What is the look? Can you just show it's people? It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. Who dresses you? Have you got someone to dress my you? My mum. You got a problem with me? No disrespect. No, my mum doesn't dress me. <laughs> <laughs> she did when I used to go to school. What did she make you wear? Huh? What did your mum make you wear at school? Um, still toe cap boots, because I used to mash up my shoes all the time. I thought if you could go into fights, you could, you know. No, no, no. My mum used to make me wear my brother's, my older brother's blazer, which was three sizes bigger than me. Um, short trousers. <laughs> I had a hard upbringing, man. My mum, my mum was just, you know, my mum just... And now you're on seven figures, so... I'm not on seven figures. Who told you that? Eddie. <laughs> no, 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 no. Eddie, 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 Eddie's and what? I don't even know. I'm not in seven figures, bro. I don't make that kind of money. It's a, it's all a myth. I don't make that kind of money, bro. Okay. So, you know, don't, don't, it's Tax not man. A, <laughs> don't, you're a fool, you know. I don't make that kind of money, man. I wish I was making seven figures. Um, Alainis and his team firmly believe that, you know, they're coming here to, to knock you out this weekend. In life, people believe a lot of things and say a lot of things. Whether they happen or not, it's a different story. You know, um, I can't control what he believes or what he says or what he does. But one thing I can control is what he tries to do when I'm in when I'm involved. That's it. You know, but a lot of people underestimate me and say this and say that. But when I'm there and I'm in front of them and I'm putting in that work, then they realise that I'm, I'm better than what they think. So we'll see, man. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I'm glad that he says that because it shows he's ambitious and it shows he's coming to fight and it shows that, he, you know, he said that he had a little bleep with Dupa, he's got over that, so it's good. It's, it looks like I'm fighting the best Robert Lainus there is. You know, the best one there's ever been. You know, that's what he's saying, basically. So we'll see. Have you watched the fight with or, I'm assuming you did watch the fight with him and Chizoro, the one that yeah, was yeah, very yeah. contentious. Derek definitely won that not, fight. A lot of people believe Derek that Derek won, won that won fight. It, yeah. 100% Derek won the fight. I gave it to Derek by about seven rounds. You know, Derek won the fight, but we'll see, you know, I don't take much on those things. I just get on, you know, um, we'll see, man. This guy says he's going to do this and he did it. We'll see. We'll see. Whatever he believes, you know, God bless him and whatever he wants. Um, we'll see on the day, innit? We'll see. We'll see. It's very difficult because you've got this fight and you're focused on Hellenius, but obviously the press and idiots like me throwing in other fighters to you because, you know, this is our job. Yeah. But where does the Chizora situation stand at the minute? Is that... I don't know where Chizora situation stands. Chizora is fighting next week. I'm yeah. fighting this week. We'll see. I get through that. He gets through that. Then we'll see. You know, the Chizora fight's there. I wanted to make... I tried to make the Chizora fight twice since December. I said it would tell you it didn't happen. So, I don't know. We'll see. It, it's all the areas you just stepped into the frame. Come in. I wasn't coming into the frame. No, come in. Oh, this one. Mother dressing, is that what you said? Yeah. Top Gun. No, I was going to say taxi driver as well. Um, taxi driver? Yeah. The, Sh the Sri Lankan version. I haven't seen any taxi drivers in the Sri Lankan version. <laughs> if I got in a cab with him, yeah, you know, my bum would be going If he was your Uber driver, not that you've ever got Uber, because you don't know. I've got Uber. Have you really? What do you think I am? He's got a traditional chauffeur that drives a roller, he doesn't get Uber. That's what I mean. Why would you have Uber? I'm just, I'm, I'm just quite normal with Uber, but anyway. Um, thanks for the interviews last night. That's all right. He called uh, Deontay Wilder a crackhead, I uh, believe, but I think that's just banter. He, he says stuff and acts like a crackhead acts, you know what I mean? He, I can't even to $7 million to fight. Well, that's he's... what I said. We know the numbers. He knows the numbers. He's, he knows what he's doing. It's not just like, he knows the business. We know how much money, you know, is on the table for that fight. It's more money than he can get anywhere else. Exactly. Uh, and he's willing to take less money than he can get in other fights, it's, or he's made in other fights. It's a real title, so, you know. It. This offer you're going to go back to mm. Wilder's team with, um, is that it? Yeah, I mean, look, we're at a stage there. Look, every time Dillian fires, his stock rises. He could be in an absolute war with Hellenius on Saturday, knock him out. All of a sudden, it's a bigger fight with Dillian, with White. But he decides, the way we run the pay-per-view shows, you know, he'll decide, essentially, what the offer is to Deontay Wilder. 
Because we'll sit down and look at the numbers, but he's got to be paid. And he's not asking for fortunes for the fight, he's just looking for an opportunity. But if we have to become mandatory, and we're doing it this way, that's what we'll do. Because if he's not going to get the shots, we have to force the shot. But he's fighting on February the 3rd, whoever it is. You know, and we want a world title. I don't think Joseph Parker's gettable, because he wants, he wants someone to pay for his belt. And he hasn't got the value. Wilder's a big fight. Him and Wilder at the press conference. Now that's that's how I feel. LTV wank bank stuff. Listen, I, I just want to fight. That's it, man. I don't care about all this. Other. That's his job and my team's job. They can do it, but I just want to fight. Get, I'm just glad I got a good fight. It's a hard fight Saturday. You know, the guy does everything well. He's a big guy, six or eight. So, you know, that's it. I'm glad I got someone who's going to come and bring it. Something that I haven't seen in the ring yet as a pro. You know, I mean, tall guy, good boxing. A bit, bit, I've seen this. I fought a tall, aggressive guy. I fought a tall, cagey guy. Now, you know, it's a guy that's in the middle so Box looking fight. forward to it exactly looking forward to it looking forward to beating him down and sending him he sees a viking so he might end up in valhalla on saturday so we'll see mark tibbs uh did a trainer says that the only reason he, deontay wilder may ask for seven million is because he just doesn't want I to don't fight think he, well, look he's a nightmare to fight i've only met two people that really want to fight him and that's aj and that's derek chisora and I'm willing to fight both of them, yeah. but the figures just got to add up on the time. Exactly. AJ's got his his plans, I got my plans. Derek think he's got his plans or whatever he's got. So Derek is at the back of the queue. He's got to wait for what I'm doing, you know, what we decide to do. We'll see. I want the fight. It's there, but we change just a real title. If it doesn't happen in February, then we'll get Derek Cesaro. Is that but your plan B for this, uh, yeah, February? Look, listen, people have got to understand these guys are not taking easy fights. He's fighting Robert Alanius. This is a tough fight. Derek next week's fighting Cabayo. That's yeah. no stroll in the park. It, it, it's a big banana skin because with Derek, he needs to get up for this fight. He doesn't know Cabell. Cabell's not saying anything, so he might not get up for the fight. And then, you know, and Cabell, you know, Cabell might beat him. Because with Derek, it's all about motivation. You know what I mean? If Derek's not motivated, he can stick to the place, as we've seen on many different occasions. You know, my fight, he got up for it because there was a lot of needle in it. Like, and as he, he got up for it. But I think we'll as well, see. when you talk about February the 3rd, number one target, Deontay Wilder. That's the ultimate plan. Yeah, loads of other fights in the mix. Derek Chisora, Dominic Brazil, Lucas Brown. But ultimately, at this stage, it's not about just fighting for money. It's about fighting for a position to manoeuvre into a World Heavyweight title shot. That's it. That's right. How is your relationship, you two? You seem to get on. It's all right. Yeah, it's up and down, I'd say. It's yeah, up and down. But he doesn't... Well, one, it's hard for us because no one wants to fight him and sometimes they don't understand why but the answer is in the heavyweight division there's a lot of people trying to nick a living and they don't really want to go in and fight him because he's a nightmare but if he knew the work that we put in like and he'll call me and I think fuck it he puts me under pressure which is good he says yes he sometimes he's literally wanting to strangle you of course I've seen it a hundred times I'm, I'm 29 years old this oh, can you believe ever. I'm nine years older than him yeah, I'm, I'm 29 years old. I got what another six, six years left in the sport. Seven years if I look out on myself. So I need to get moving. I don't want to wait around and at 39, 38, then that's when I'm getting my chances. No, I need to get them now while I'm in my prime. I don't want to wait around. Unfortunately, I had a long amateur career and a lot of professional fights, but I need to get going. What, you know? what a minimum, minimum of three fights in 2018. Yeah, minimum. I, I would love that. And ultimately, as well. One thing we always do do after a lot of shouting and screaming is good business. Yeah, you know, that's he, did, the thing. he did he did tremendous business in the AJ fight, tremendous business in the Derek Chisora fight. Again he's got a big fight on Saturday. So, you know, this guy is outside of the champions, in my opinion, commercially the biggest fighter in the heavyweight division. He's expensive, he deserves to be. We always have this conversation. I bring but, value and I make the fights and I, and I always show up and fight. We lose a draw, you can guarantee a fight will break at some point. We're gonna have it. That's me. You know, I'm not thinking. Oh well. Not just in the room. You know. Well, well. It's quite calm for you today. I'm, I'm yeah. easy. I'm easy. I don't. You know. I've realised energy is important. You know. I, in the past, I splashed my energy here, there, shouting and screaming. I realised that I don't need to do that. I'm, I'm easy. I just need to be calm. Save my energy. Yeah, we'll get the wild fight. Energy. We want to see a bit of that as well, please. Yeah, well, if Alex run up on me talking shit, I'm not going to sit there and go, okay, okay, I'm going to tell him to go fuck himself. But that's different. Elenius wasn't doing that, so there's no need. To, there's no need for me to be a bully and be aggressive to the man. He's not doing that. He's coming to fight. He says, oh, it's going to knock me out and all that stuff. But he said a key thing. 
he said, Dylan what we lose is cool and I'm gonna knock him out. So by him saying all of that, he's already trying to goad me into losing my cool. So I'm like, come on dude, like don't you don't underestimate me. Trust me. Don't underestimate me. This is a good fight to see where we're at, I think. Exactly. Just finally, but speaking to you sometimes, you sound a little bit frustrated and speaking to you as well, this kind of relationship between two of you. You but love it, don't you? You do. No, I'm just You're asking. Like Jeremy no, Kyle. But ultimately, ultimately we you, do great business. This, has this been man, you, you trust him to get you where you want to get. Listen, I don't have no paper contract with any. Every fight we do is fight by fight. So out of loyalty, I stayed with him and obviously he's stayed my career a certain way. We do good business, we work well together. You know what I mean? We work well together. There's been loads of people saying this and saying that. But I'm like, listen, I'm all right where I'm at. It just sometimes frustrates because people don't want to fight and sometimes the budget's, is, the budget's not there. But hopefully after this fight, things will change. And then you can't say to me, there's not, no more money in the pot. So we'll see. This fight should change all of that. Oh, there's only this much in the pot. You ain't we'll done see. bad, mate. You ain't done bad. We're heading in the right direction, don't worry. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> you know? that's, that's the truth. It, it's, it's a, look, anytime he wanted to go elsewhere, we shake hands and do it. He knows he's in the right place. I believe I'm going to deliver the fight. Box. If I go to Sky, if I go I'm to Scott, our ITV no and problem. Box Nation, no problem. Uh, they're shaking it. It's up to you. Okay. You do what you want. You know, no one can deliver the big it, paydays it, it, like it, that. It's us. Is doing that? Is it's, it? not, it's, not, <laughs> it's not because I know there's no one that delivers the big paydays like us. The difference. You can get the middle money if you're not going to be that box office fighter. I believe you are. I believe you can be in the biggest fights in every weight division. But you. <laughs> no, listen, don't worry about it, mate. No, we're no, all right. No, no. We're all right. No, like, we want to no, no. work. We, 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 do, we, do, we do good business. And we'll listen, be fine. Like, just, that's what it's like with a lot of our Everyone's fighters. got frustration in their career, ups and downs. It's just normal, isn't it? It's just normal, you know what I mean? But what can they do? Like I say, if these guys don't want to fight, then you can't kill them. Unless you're paying them ridiculous amount of money, and then it's not that worth it. That is the problem. That is the main problem. These guys, you know, the end of the day. Like, like Deontay Wilder. He's talking rubbish. Already four million. His family they've not said that to grow up at his own flipping birthday party. It sucks. You know, it sucks. Oh, look, look how many people want to talk to Dylan White. All right. Dylan White, Eddie Hearn, thank you very much for joining us. I'll see you, <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you we'll catch you soon. <laughs>